Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and on today's video we are going to be doing a really cool build on today's video we are going to be kind of honestly making it to where you can get to Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters uh, I had this idea in mind and I thought this was a really cool idea uh, so we are going to be connecting them by a jump platform which I thought was pretty cool and we're also going to be doing some water terraforming uh, to kind of help tie this all together so we are going to be using this uh, waterfall here to help us out and I am going to be creating kind of like a cave uh, to where there's like I don't know like a way for the water to come out you'll just have to stay tuned to see what I'm talking about uh, but we need to do water terraforming all the way down uh, to create again kind of like another like I wouldn't say the land bridge but like this awkward pathing that I was thinking of I don't know it's gonna look really cool I am really excited on today's video but you'll see here already we kind of have like this diagonal jump path like where you can like jump across I'm really excited to see if it works I think that it will uh, so uh, we'll, we will see but uh, we are going to extend this down just down a little bit we're not going to go all the way down to connect uh, these like rivers together I just don't want to do that because it's going to mess up how like the pirate hook thing looks so I didn't want to extend it down too far so I wanted to, to to create like a organic kind of like shape that kind of make it look like a winding path I don't know I feel like it will look really cool and add a lot to the build so I wanted to see what we, with what we can come up with And I think this shape we came up with was pretty cool. So I wanted to kind of take it and run with it and see what we can create. So that's what we're going to start off with. We are going to be starting off with this bottom portion here and then working, working our way up. And I was just checking it out on the map to see what it looked like. And I really do like how this was looking. It looks pretty cool. And I don't get to use water that much in my builds. So I was pretty excited. So now we are going to connect this side with the other side uh, so we needed to start decorating and placing down trees and other items to help kind of fill in the gap now I was really excited to work with this like little whiny part we have that's like between both of the water I feel like it's gonna look really cool uh, I decided to add a palm tree just here in the middle and we also need to cover up these mountains uh, because uh, we, this is a jungle after all so we need to fill in a lot of different things uh, so we did start off by placing down a lot of vines uh, we need to cover up both of these mountain sides to help uh, with the aesthetic that we are going for so I went ahead and filled in the rest of this mountain with some vines and while we are placing down vines on both sides I am just curious uh, what are you guys up to on your islands what is everyone making uh, I did get some comments on recommendations on what to build next uh, someone was saying like a Amazon forest like where things are getting chopped down like they are in real life which is really sad uh, I could do something like that but I'm kind of curious on what your what your all themes are right now and what you're trying to make and also uh, if you guys have any like if you guys need help on anything uh, let me know in the comments below I would love to try to help anyone out that I can and also I'm just curious on what y'all are doing uh, I am a little nosy and I don't know I just feel like it's fun uh, seeing what everyone else is doing right now it is the fall season now so I'm wondering if people are doing like fall uh, like islands or they're doing like Halloween inspired islands uh, but yeah let me know in the comments below and now what we're doing is we're going to basically connect pass all the way across now we are going to do it uh, kind of in a different way uh, I just filled in the rest of this area with some pathing but in this middle path I have an idea I, I am going to see if I like this or not uh, because putting path there is going to be really weird so I didn't want to do that right off the bat I did fill in the rest of this bottom area just with some items to help uh help me later on so i had to come back and do that uh these bamboo lamps i always forget to use these 
uh, but I have a lot of them so I really do need to use them more often and same thing uh, over here I just ended up using another bamboo lamp uh, just to help fill in that area I just wanted to have some more light too just in case we do decide to put this kind of like at, at night time I don't know what time I'm gonna release this date on uh, or well, this island on if it's gonna be like a night or like an early morning or something I feel like it might look pretty cool but I was running around to see what I wanted to build around I was kind of lost for a little bit just because I didn't anticipate having this really cool walkway uh, so I just started by placing down some mosses just right in the middle and this is where I got the idea of where I wanted to add wheat fields with moss to kind of make this spot look overgrown I just feel like it would look pretty cool so I wanted to try that out and I continued the moss just going downward and I was getting a feel for things to see how it was going to look uh, I was getting a lot of small mosses over and over again which I did not want I wanted the ones that give a little bit more height in that area and now I wanted to place down some stuff over here uh, luckily a bamboo partition does fit on that wall uh, and I was trying to see if I liked it or if I could push it in a little bit more uh, but I'll leave it for right now and now I need to start decorating over here so I'm just planting down a lot of bushes and stuff to help with more greenery and also to fill in the area a little bit more and I do have one wheat field on me right now so I placed it down to see if I liked it and I did so I kind of wanted to run with this idea uh, also I needed to put down some pathing over here to kind of help me out later on so I know where I can kind of pick up where I left off so I went ahead and fill the rest of this in just kind of like a boxy shape nothing too special uh, but again I still needed it and after I did this I need to fill in this rest of the area with more stuff uh, so I need to get a lot of greenery and I always forget that I have green mums that I can use so I went ahead and picked up some green mums and I wanted to add it in the mix of like this like random like moss wheat fill that I'm doing I just feel like it will help change up some things and I decided to place the other one right in front of the tree here uh, again to help out like with some of the variants that I'm using so it's not just moss and bushes all the time even though jungle cord needs that but I did time travel and I grabbed some more wheat fills to help fill in the area and I was really happy with how this turned out I think this looks absolutely amazing and I don't know it's a little bit different uh, which is I feel like what we needed again I kind of extended it out all the way over here and I did add one more wheat field to kind of make it look like it was an overgrown like forest part I just feel like that looked pretty cool and we need to finish decorating this side over here so I just added another wheat field why not and I had a tarantula model I don't know I feel like that was pretty cool it is like it like a jungle or like an Amazon forest so I feel like that really does help with the aesthetic of things and filling in just the rest of the area with some moss just some more filler to kind of help with the build and like little spots over here that I did forget to add things now we can go to the very top of the mountain now we need to clean up around here so I had a flower explosion going on along with a lot of these pine trees we need to get rid of so let's go ahead and clean up all of the mess that I have left behind All right, so now that we have cleaned up all of the flowers and trees that we didn't need, we can go ahead and trash them. And next we can work on our water terraforming because I need to shape this a little bit more uh, to kind of go with what I was going for because we need to put a cave down somewhere. So we need to kind of figure out the shape of this. And my first thought behind this build was <laughs> I wanted to see if I could put the shops near each other Typically, I really like doing that personally, but I didn't know how I could link them up together in Jungle Core, just because it is a little weird to me kind of build around this. 
Uh, but I saw this waterfall here and I was like, I think it would be cool if we can have like a jumping platform with water. So that is where this idea uh, originated from. And I was really excited to try it out to build it, even though this build overall took me multiple hours to get done and to complete. Uh, but I was really excited to see if we can create it. And so far, everything is turning out very well. Uh, this water, we just need to get rid of all this water first. And then we need to shape where the waterfall is too. Uh, because we need kind of the cave to go in front of it to act like an exit point for the water. Just so it kind of makes sense. Uh, so there's not just random floating water for some weird reason. Uh, I feel like it definitely needs that. Sometimes you can get away with that and it not looking like too realistic but i feel like this one does need it and plus two it'll give you something cool to look at like when you're jumping over the path because that is what i wanted to go for especially in jungle core having all these like random weird like winding paths and like different things you can climb on i feel like that's the fun of jungle core creating like different and new things that you really haven't done before and it really has been opening my mind to different and new ideas like for things like to build like in the future which has been really helpful for me uh, because sometimes I really do struggle when it comes to building new things uh, anyways we are done with the water terraforming now we can place down the cave now I did notice right off the bat this was way too far away uh, I was trying to see if I can get it to work but I did not like how far it was away from the shops just because it doesn't look as like i guess grand you can say uh i don't know why i was trying to build something there i went back to the water terraforming and i did decide to drop it down a lot lower just so you can actually see the cave and to where it's not like way off in the distance uh so i push it down one more uh to hopefully help with that and also to with the cave there is it's a weird shaped item uh, i think it's like two and a half tiles maybe i could be wrong could be like three and a half i don't really know i think it's two and a half though and uh when you push it down it has like this awkward like kind of gap so i really needed to fill this in and thankfully i caught it kind of early on so i know i can place down some items so i went ahead and pulled it back up and Luckily, I had some rock items I could use to kind of act as like <laughs> a longer cave, I guess. I don't really know, uh, but I went ahead and just placed those down right in the front. And luckily, there were taller rocks to kind of help fill in the area, which I was really happy about. And now that that's done, I was really happy with how this looked. I really wish you could put the water in the cave to where it kind of covers up like the green path, but unfortunately, you can't do that. And now to give the build some more height, I went ahead and I placed down some more trees just around it. And later on, I will come back here and decorate more things. But for right now, just for this build purposes, I feel like this was just plenty. We didn't really need to do anything too crazy. And overall, I was really happy with how that turned out. And now when you hop across, you can see the cave like what I was wanting. And I need to put down just some things on this so it's not like plain so i went ahead and placed down some glowing moss that kind of helped with the build overall and now that we're done let's go ahead and do our final walkthrough And that wraps up today's build. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna call this, uh, but it was a super fun one. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Also, make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe because you do not wanna miss our next build. It is gonna be a big one. I can't wait to show you guys that. And again, thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, till next time.